Hello, hello my friends. How are you? I'm so glad to see you. Welcome to Storytime at the Library. This story is called This Way Charlie. Looks like it's about a horse and maybe a little goat. Let's see what they do in this story. This Way Charlie, inspired by a real animal friendship by Karen Levis. Jack watched the new animals scamper, hop, flap, and trot their way into Open Bud Ranch. Some would stay a short while and others longer. A few might make the ranch their home, like Jack had when he needed a safe and caring place to live. Open Bud Ranch had space for all kinds and all kinds of space to heal, rest, and grow. Everyone could see that Jack liked keeping his space to himself. Everyone except Charlie. When Charlie arrived, he didn't see Jack at all. Hey, bleated Jack. Pardon me, neighed Charlie. Jack could tell from how Harley swerved this way, but not that way that Charlie could only see out of one of his eyes. Antonia explained that once in a while, for different reasons, blindness happened. She couldn't mend Charlie's sight like she had the eagle's broken wing or release him into the wild like the possum once they'd grown. But she could give Charlie time to see in his own new way. Antonio said that everybody deserves plenty of food, love, and patience. By now, Jack knew this ranch gave plenty of fresh hay, groomed with soft brushes, and always trimmed hooves slowly. Still, he didn't want anything to get too close, too quick, or too loud. So Jack stepped back and he watched out for Charlie. Charlie whinnied to everyone in his cheerful way, swished his tail, snorted, and stopped to sniff the honeysuckles the same way Jack liked to do. He chewed thoughtfully and followed the sunlit patches as if he wanted to get to know the whole place. But Charlie couldn't go very far on his own. Sometimes he bumped in an oops way, not a pushing way. And lots of times he stood still in a lost way. Jack noticed Charlie's eye had a soft glow like the moon, which often guided Jack when he left, felt lost in the dark. He wondered what Charlie used for a moon. Some mornings, Charlie pawed at a dry patch of dirt. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Hungry, thought Jack. Or scared. Maybe lonely. One day, Jack took an extra deep breath of honeysuckles. In for sweet, out for brave. This way, Charlie, he said. And showed him the way to his favorite field. They gazed, grazed and bathed in the sunlight. The next day, Jack did it again. This way, Charlie. Jack walked a little ahead on, and on Charlie's seeing side. He slowed down when the tra trail got steep and stomped when they reached the fresh water. And when it got too hot, he called Charlie towards the shade. Hey, Jack called. Ha, hey, it's for horses, Charlie called back. Soon the next day became every day. Walk, graze, sunbathe, return. Sometimes a quiet like warm milk filled the space between them. 
other times, Jack asked Charlie questions about swinging a long tail, about galloping, being so tall, going blind, about bugs, plants, and clouds, about the ranch, the world, and sometimes about dreams. The way I see it, Charlie would answer, and Jack would listen. On cold, wet mornings, instead of going to their place, Jack guided Charlie to the barn. Charlie would step in, but Jack always stayed out. He wanted to go where it looked peaceful and dry, but his body remembered a different barn from long ago that wasn't calm or kind. Charlie couldn't make the rain or the past disappear but he could show Jack how kindness moves, sounds, and waits for skies to clear and new memories to take shape. Charlie could, could, could give Jack an inside, outside. Crack, boom. Do you get scared of things you can't see? Charlie, Jack asked Charlie. All the time. Charlie told Zack, but by the way I see it, that's what a friend like you is for. Friend? Jack chewed on the word over like a mouthful of fresh, sweet grass. As the days went by, Charlie began walking more and more slowly. Then one day he stopped. He couldn't see out of either of his eyes now. So Jack moved closer and to the center of the path. This way, Charlie? Yes, this way, Jack. They kept walking, one hoof in front of the other, and until it felt like Jack's steps were Charlie's and Charlie's steps were Jack's. Once when the other goats went galloping by, Charlie said, we could play with them today. Jack trembled. Or maybe with the fawns, Charlie asked. Or the new raccoon? I can't. Making new friends gave Jack a bumpy feeling. Let's just say hello. The way I see it. No, you don't see. You can't see. Charlie was surprised. So was Jack. He hadn't meant to snap so close, so quick, so loud. A new kind of quiet filled the space between them. It felt like a swallow of dry, rotten grass rumbling around their insides. Maybe that's why they didn't notice the sky was rumbling too. Boom! Crack! Rain came pouring down so fast and thick that Jack couldn't see Charlie. Wind howled so loud that Charlie couldn't hear Jack. Trees bent, fell, and tangled, trapping Charlie. Jack tried this way and that way, but there was no way in and no way out. So Jack ran. Jack ran and ran for Charlie. He bleated to all the animals for Charlie. Jack banged at doors, found Antonia, and urged everyone to follow him closely. This way, Charlie! The mud was thick and the branches were strong, but the whole ranch working together was stronger. Finally, Charlie was free. Jack led the way inside. This way, friends. Everyone huddled together. Jack whispered, I'm sorry. And Charlie whispered, thank you. The barn was filled with all kinds of snores, dreams, and a quiet that neither Charlie nor Jack could see, but both could feel was splendid and warm. like the sun that rose the next morning. They walked that day, 
the next day, and every day for the rest of their lives, one foot in front of the other. This way, Charlie, this way. So what did you think of Jack? Did he really want to make friends? Deep down he really did, but he was scared because he had bad memories. And so it's hard, it's hard to reach out to make friends, but he did, he took that first step. And he and Charlie then took many steps. They went on walks every day and they made very good friends. And in the end, Jack felt better. And he even had all the friends in the barn were now his friends. So sometimes you just need to be brave and take that first step. I'm so glad you were here and I'll see you next time. Bye.